The Twin Flame Meeting is a huge shocking and awakening event in your life which your soul awakens to itself. Those that have had this paranormal and life-changing experience know what I'm talking about. Usually there are some sort of dreams or visions that happen before the encounter. And by encounter, I mean physical encounter where the other incarnation of your soul is standing right in front of you, physically. When you meet in person, the experience is absolutely out of this world and I wanted to go into it today. The eyes are the windows of the soul. When your twin's eyes meet yours for the first time, there's an instant recognition. They look at you as if saying, oh my God, it's you. There's an ancient recognition of your soul and your inner child. But because of human amnesia, this recognition can leave you awestruck an awakening and disbelief of what the hell just happened. That recognition sparks up a complete chakra explosion immediately, which is actually the higher self recognizing itself and merging. Because you're one, you cannot exist as separate. The energies run between you intensely. The activation happens within a nanosecond of eye contact, as if it was electromagnetic. With a split second eye contact, your soul can go into total blissful shock and your life will never be the same again. This makes sense as the connection and love between twin flames exist beyond time, space, and even earth. Just from an instant touch of eye contact, a true twin flame experiences an awakening and explosion of two main chakras. One chakra is the second heart, which is located actually between the heart and solar plexus. The other chakra that explodes is the crown, which is actually the sleeping higher self. These two chakras go into full blast and you feel God from that ancient recognition. Through their eyes, you see your full self, your higher self. You feel your purity. In fact, the connection is so pure that it feels completely angelic. The twin flame activation is probably the deepest, most life-changing activation your soul can receive in this lifetime. You get a taste of what heaven and God feels like, and it feels like home. You awaken to how love is the most powerful force of the universe. It's passive, gentle, sensitive, and soft, yet you can only surrender to it. This connection is completely irrelevant to anything earthbound. It's not from earth at all. It's as if all the ego that you have identified with in this lifetime completely dissolves like a thin piece of paper. The stranger sees right through you and can see your inner child. You can't lie to them. All your false selves dissolve. And if you don't have a strong soul identity, this can leave you in shock. The ego mind is unable to process this connection and starts to internalize it, a paralyzing feeling of low self-worth. The stranger is looking at you like you're a goddess and your ego doesn't want him to see all your deep imperfections, even though part of you knows he will love you no matter what. Your twin soul's voice also carries an intense heart resonance with you. Their voice makes your heart explode with the most beautiful and familiar resonance and activates the soul memory in your heart. A lot of times when we hear a twin's voice for the first time, our minds can become completely paralyzed with love and attraction, like listening to our favorite song that we can't get enough of. You feel like you just met a beautiful angel, a powerful angel, who stares back at your soul's deepest core like you're absolutely ideal and divine. Without a strong soul identity, a person meeting their twin for the first time can feel like they have no idea how to show up, which can make you behave very awkwardly. This is the initiation that drives you into a long spiritual pursuit of who am I? This encounter reawakens your soul memory. But because we as humans have amnesia, your soul remembers them and knows them, but your mind isn't able to process what just happened. 
For me personally, I wasn't on a spiritual journey at all when I met my twin. I was just a teenager. So meeting him propelled me into spirituality. The other thing that this encounter brings up is everything that we don't like or judge about ourselves. Everything we feel insecure and unworthy about is brought to the surface. They feel like a complete angel, too good to be true and beautiful beyond your wildest dreams. And they look at you the same way. Everything feels so surreal. It makes you feel like you're undeserving and not good enough for them. This can make the interaction between you very awkward, sometimes even impossible, which propels a separation for you to go into self-discovery. Also, the twin flame connection tends to trigger a very deep fear within us. You love them beyond anything you've ever felt and you can't help it. So you know they can eat your heart for breakfast if they want it. You feel like you're at their mercy the fear of losing them will make you run. The logic of the mind is, if the relationship doesn't work out and you had to break up, you would be deathly devastated. I believe this comes from the trauma of separation from unity, which was a very painful process for the soul. This connection is your eternal, divinely ordained marriage. It is there beyond time, space, interactions, or labels. And again, the mind has trouble processing this. Twin flames are angelic bodies incarnated on earth. They came with a clear etheric body and deep inside they actually remembered the path to ascension. They are volunteer souls that came to help people break out of their karmic cycles that humanity has been looping in for thousands of years without being able to break free. Most twin flames are master shadow workers and have to travel deep within their darkness and feel their pain and programming to the bones before transmuting them. Most of us have deep and heavy ancestral programming of war, abuse, slavery, rape, toxicity, narcissism, very difficult energies to reprogram from our soul. This takes years of spiritual work and oftentimes, but not necessarily, with psychedelics to travel deeper into the astral to retrieve soul segments that have been stuck in past timelines due to severe trauma. The twin flame mission on Earth is to purify old human programming and to bring a new template of love on the planet. They also carry heaven in their essence and are called to anchor God's divine love on Earth. This all starts with the journey into the deep self. Twin flames are highly spiritually evolved beings. And as the world is just a mirror reflection of our conscious and subconscious, graduating souls have drawn in a perfect mirror of them in their reality, their own soul incarnated in another body. This connection can only be harmonized when you purify enough to hold your divine connection by coming into touch with your true wholesome identity. It takes a lot of work, years of deep exploration of ancestral programming and clearing doom imprints because most of us have been killed and mutilated in absolutely horrible ways in our past lives for showing our gifts. Bonafide twin flames have a massive emotional body. To a lot of people, they may seem intense, oversensitive, over emotional, but this is their biggest gift. They are phenomenal healers, and their energies are like sponges that vacuum clean negative energies of this planet. True twin flames have extraordinary transmuting abilities and a lot of gifts. They're packed with tools to transmute the dark into the light, and a lot of times they're just intuitively know how to do this. This journey is a very lonely, extraordinary, paranormal, difficult, rewarding, ego death filled path that our soul has chosen before incarnating here. When you strip away everything that you're not, at the core, you are a creator being. The matrix loves victimhood and feeding on louche of self pity and resentment. We are not victims but the creator of our reality, 
Unless we take ownership of that, we will always loop karmically. The twin flame connection is of divine love. It is brought to earth, ordained by God, the creator, and is an energy that anchors the divine grid of heaven for the collective. The angelic hierarchy crumble and separate it from the ways of twin flame separations. This is the lifetime for them to be restored, to bring heaven to the hearts of the people on earth, to create a new reality like the Lemurian times. This is divinely ordained, divine interference to bring the next stage of our evolution. The twin flame connection is a purity that can only anchor on the planet when enough darkness has left the planet. This purity cannot survive with contamination as it can lead both twins into painful self-destructive ways. So union before the souls are ready can be very detrimental. Most twin flames intuitively know this, therefore have devoted their life to some kind of humanitarian work. They're mostly mystics with their own unique gifts to bring to this world. The final stage of ascension of a twin flame soul is the merge. It brings you back home. Your twin is the only one who has the key to fully ascend your spirit. This is very ironic because most of the twin flame journey is very lonely and the work is to be done alone in isolation, taking the soul apart to heal it, really understanding who your true soul self is. Another thing about twin flames is that they need to practice celibacy, bringing the sexual energy upward into the heart and crown chakras and purging all the toxicities stuck in other etheric bodies. The female energy awakens in the higher three chakras, whereas the male energy anchors the lower three chakras. Although this energy travels back and forth, when both twins stay celibate, the female eventually anchors her sexual energy on her crown, which awakens her male twin and they meet in their heart center. Just like the explosion of the heart and crown chakra of the initial meeting. The male's role is to close the gap and manifest the relationship in the physical when they are ready and he will feel it. That said, because the connection is so pure and hard to anchor, many times catalyst souls from your soul family will come into your life to guide you in the right direction and anchor you spiritually. They're like stepping stones to your spiritual ascension. The twin flame connection can take years and years to come into harmony. It is a divine lesson of patience, ego and spiritual death, awareness of narcissism, learning of boundaries, etc. Basically a crash course on duality and a forced awakening into oneness through exploration of the true authentic self, both light and dark. The twin flame collective came to earth as a big wave. We're all a team, whether we know each other in the 3D or not. This means that more twin flames uniting and living in harmony sponsors other twin flames to unite. We're all connected to each other on a spiritual realm and our inner work affects the entire soul tribe and this all happens subconsciously. The angelic realm is a collective consciousness that rises together. In January 2024, which is in a few months, Pluto, the planet, moves to Aquarius from Capricorn. This is one of the biggest cosmic events in our universe. Since Pluto is the planet of destruction, death and rebirth, the transformation of the unseen and hidden, the impact is massive. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was in the 1700, 1778 to 1798, with planets taking 248 years to make its way back through the same zodiac. Capricorn is strict with tradition and stability, often resisting change. Pluto currently in Capricorn affects our feelings of stability and security, our finances, 
and whom and what we choose to give our power to. Aquarius encompasses topics like social justice, technology, revolution, alternative healing, astrology, extraterrestrial life. Pluto moving to Aquarius means that a significant change of power dynamics is coming. The power of the old system, controlled by a few, will now be moving to the collective. The power that belonged to the elites are now shifting to the masses. Humanity will be rising from the ashes. This is the time the collective wakes up and takes back its power. This shift will be monumental, so prepare for significant revolutionary changes in the world, including global rebellion and world revolution. This is happening very soon. We are in intense times of change and transformation with lots of darkness and human sacrifices coming to the surface. What was invisible is now illuminated. And when darkness is illuminated, it can make its way out to be transmuted to the light, leaving the planet permanently. If you have met your twin flame and had your initiation, your life will never be the same. You've met your inner child's best friend, your ideal on every level, and you want this connection so bad. If you've met them, you will be with them one day. Trust God. You're on this journey and you cannot get off of it. Your life will be very strange and you will not follow any norms of society because you're here to break it and bring a new relationship template to transform the energies of humanity. You are an ancient soul who isn't here to follow the norms. So do not judge yourself based on it, just because you're different. Instead, honor and embrace your uniqueness. You are loved beyond imagination. Your purpose was never about conformity. So practice finding comfort and being different from the crowd as you are on a soul mission to guide people towards their higher selves. In order to fulfill these missions, you must transcend the ego, which will constantly feel overwhelmed. According to the I Ching, unity consciousness can be achieved through embracing each other's differences, not by conforming. If you resonate with this message, I honor you for this great sacrifice and service to the Creator. We are passing through very difficult, confusing times on the planet but no pain, no gain. You've done this before. And when the mission is completed, the blessings of this divine love and full consciousness of your soul will make everything more than worth it.